Line two? Yeah. Okay, Kevin. Hey. Kevin in New Jersey. Hi, can you hear me? Hi, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's great to be on a long-time fan of the show, first time calling. Thanks, good okay. to talk to you. Yeah, um, well, I just first want to say that uh, what Jen was talking about at the beginning of the show was uh, uh, really great, I think, because I think it's one of the things that's overlooked in regards to Christianity is, uh, you know, the lack of sexual education in America. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just thought that was a, a good issue to bring up. But um, in regards to my question for you guys is, I had a uh, an experience with um, not really an acquaintance, but somebody who's not really a, a friend or a family member. Because um, I grew up Catholic, I was confirmed, but by the time I realized I was an atheist, my family didn't really go to church, and my my parents don't go to church and are not very religious, so it wasn't really um, an issue. For me, coming out as an atheist to my family, it's, you know, uh, I've been accepted, and my sister doesn't really believe in God or anything like that. And uh, so I guess what I'm trying to say is that I, I haven't really had any experiences where I've gotten negative feedback from people for being an atheist, and I kind of had an experience like this, so... Mm -hmm. I just wanted your guys' input on how you deal with people who you aren't close to and how open you are about uh, being an atheist to them, you know, coworkers and people like that. I never talk about religion at work. Um, I, I just really don't think it's a very appropriate topic at work. And I, I, I mean, I could tell you what the religious beliefs of a handful of my colleagues are, um, but otherwise, we don't really talk about religion. It rarely ever comes up. And, um, I mean, I, I just don't think that's a good idea at work. I, I have felt safe enough to, I, I mean, I have a pretty cool workplace. So I have mentioned in passing a couple of times, hey, I have a show. If you want to check it out, look at me. I have a lot of Twitter followers. Yeah. Because <laughs> I got a huge ego. But uh, um, in general, you need some kind of social intelligence to gauge whether that is safe or not. And um, it's hard, of course, because Christians j often don't seem to have any compunction about waiving their religious beliefs. Right. And uh, it can certainly be tempting to uh, try to pick those arguments with them. And yeah. sometimes it's okay and sometimes it's not. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, and actually, the, uh, the few colleagues that I work with that I know about their religious beliefs, most of the time it's because they're fundamentalist Christians and they've been really, you know, kind of in your face. And one of the things that happens with them is that they mention this, you know, um, I guess, flagrant Christianity, and things get really quiet and uncomfortable, and people start to walk away. So it's not something that's very encouraged in my workplace. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, they, that's you know, that's your business. You keep it your business, kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I guess in, in uh, workplaces that it you know kind of makes sense to not really mention it. But um, you were talking about oh, your sister, right? Oh well, no. My my family is very non-religious oh, oh, okay. and open about that, so it's not so, a problem for me. Um, is this person somebody that you? Are close to, or you have, are you invested in this person in any way? Oh well, I mean, I could. I the 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 person who it was is actually I, I see a psychiatrist for ADHD. Oh, okay. And I, I mentioned it, but kind of in passing, not as an important point. And okay. it, you know, it, I just kind of got an awkward reaction. Okay. Out of it, um, and he said something to the effect of like. Um, you know, oh, well, maybe you're, uh, you know, because you felt different in the past, you're, like, trying to forge this different identity, as if I didn't really 
you know, was convinced of disbelief in God, but it was just an attempt to, like, you, you know. You know, um, your professional relationship with your psychiatrist, I mean, in, in this case, it may actually be the psychiatrist who stepped over the line and yeah. not you, because he yeah. was injecting his religious beliefs into uh, trying to tell you how you should conduct your business. And, yeah. you know, rather than feeling uncomfortable, you should realize that you are, in fact, the customer in this situation. And maybe if this is creating like a, a wall between you where you can't open up to this person and they effectively can't do their job, then maybe you should be looking, you know, shopping around to find out if there is a more atheist friendly psychiatrist. Yeah, I, I was going to suggest that you might need to get a new psychiatrist. Well, I, actually, I, I'm, I think it's, it's, it's going really well and I, I was okay. kind of confused as to how to feel about it, but I, I don't think that it was an issue. It just made me think more in the future about maybe how open I should be because America is a very religious country. I think, well, well the, the context you know? in which you revealed this is not something that, I mean, you had mentioned work before. I thought you were talking about maybe a work colleague. Mentioning to your shrink that you're an atheist, I don't think that's is inappropriate. That's they need to know. Yeah, really. they, do, they do need to know that. So that's not something that you should keep hidden. And, and yeah. frankly, if, and if your psychiatrist a has a problem with that, then, then you guys are not going to have a good therapeutic relationship and you need to think about getting into right. shrink. I, I mean, I would say the same thing if, like, you were engaged to somebody and you mentioned you were an atheist and they said, oh, you need to get right with God. It's like, okay, you're an atheist. That doesn't make you a bad person. She's yeah. a Christian. That doesn't make her a bad person. But maybe you guys shouldn't be together. Right. Yeah. I guess because I've never really... Um, had an experience before where it's I've gotten a ambiguous or negative reaction. All right. of my friends that know don't care or are encouraging about it. So yeah, I I think I, that yeah, is uh, initial, that's good. That means you have a lot yeah. of healthy relationships. Yeah, but my initial reaction was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that because I've never really been in that nope. situation before. Yeah. No, Not in this in, case, in that yeah, in that context, it's appropriate for you to say something. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, do you uh, do you guys have uh, you know, have you guys had experiences where you know you got kind of an ambiguous reaction out of somebody when they learned that you were an atheist, and, and how did you deal with that going forward? I mean, we publicly state that we're yeah. atheists on TV. <laughs> yeah. I've had hostile neighbors. Uh, I've, you know, I've had. Um, hostile in-laws in some cases that mostly we've minimized communication with. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> that it, there's nothing wrong with having a difference of opinion with somebody, but if, uh, it, you know, if this person is uncomfortable with a core part of your identity, then there's nothing that says that the two of you have to spend a lot of time together. Because people, you know, all relationships are at will. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was it was a few sessions ago, so I, you know, I might bring it up because the the, the mm -hmm. rest of everything were were uh, I, I I've had the rest of the experience I've had with him been mm -hmm. very good. So, but it's just something that's kind of you know bothered me and been making me think. Well, in the future, how do I sort of handle this? Because I'm not right. used to it. My parents and friends have been very, you know, well, accepting. Actually, the responsibility for how to handle that it really falls on your, your therapist's shoulders. Um, yeah. And it doesn't sound like he handled it very well. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, that yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. You don't need to be worried about his emotional response to finding out you're an atheist. Right. In some other cases, you might need to worry about that. Yeah. Like if this was your boss who had a problem with you, you better, you probably ought to be careful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If this is a judge who's about to sentence you, it kind of is unfair, but yeah. you might want to watch your step uh, and then maybe mm -hmm. raise hell with the ACLU. But in the case yeah. of a professional relationship with a therapist, uh, you know, listening to you open up is his job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Well, I guess, you know, um, I wasn't, uh, you know, too, too, uh, because I guess, you know, my, my reaction after that was, I always shouldn't have said that, you know, that's, right. you know, but, uh, yeah, I guess it, it really is his responsibility. All right. To, well, uh, I hope that helps. And, yeah, uh, it really and does. Good luck Thank with that. Great. Right. Yep. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye.